Hello and welcome to the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Professional Course. Uh, my name is MD Jishan and I am so happy that you are here for this course. And uh, together we are going to learn a lot, but I want you to take some time to just uh, watch this video entirely for the actually the exam introduction, something like that. And I am going to share some very important information uh, with this video also. So first I want to make sure that uh, you and I have the, some of the good or uh, right expectations for this course. What I'm going to teach you and what you are looking to learn. So those expectations we have to uh, set those right in the beginning. And the first thing is very important is this, that this course is entirely uh, slides based. And uh, most uh, for like hands-on experience have also been included uh, where it is required. And hands-on experience, hands experience is actually going to let you know that how are you going to imply the things that you have learned and uh, the things that you have learned you will be already be having multiple experiences a lot of experiences so you should know the basics and it will also include the hands on experience so that usually means that the um, something like the if you are coming to this course you have already passed a certification in the past on the AWS uh, those could be some of the associate certification uh, mostly it would be considering that you have done associate cert certification and uh, like uh, so this course is also going to be a little fast paced uh, might you have already learned that uh, I can't be a little fast paced so I think that your time is valuable and I don't want to waste it and in this way and if you want to learn it like uh, even you can slow it down to 0.75x and if you can speed it up to 2x so that is a AWS certified solution architect at the list so now but uh, now if you want to maximize the chances to pass the professional exams, then I would definitely recommend you to go through the certified developer, uh, AWS certified developer, certified sales of, certified DevOps certifications first. And if you are coming from the developer solution architect, that is okay even. But if you want to maximize the chances, this is what you actually recommended thing. So I know that uh, you want to go straight uh, to something like solutions for architect professional associate certification. A personal certification, but if you are new to AWS, you need uh, you need that hands-on experience. Take your time, do these other courses and other certifications, and then get back to this course certain certification. So the knowledge you need to know the pass the solutions architect professional exam is actually very very extremely uh, similar to the knowledge that you have acquired, uh, acquired in the certified social uh, solutions architect associate exams. But the difference is that the questions are going to be more complex around like uh, half the page questions and maybe those all the questions will be completely situation based. Uh, but the difference is that the questions are going to be more complex and uh, that you know the detail is going to be very important and you will be mostly uh, if you are for talking about the solutions architect you will be mostly having the questions on designing the infrastructure. That's uh, how most of the questions will be based on. So. Here, the knowing the details of every AWS services is going to be very, very important. So, how do you know the details? Well, by having these hands-on experience and also the things that I'm going to teach you based on this slide. So, okay. So, in case you are still new to AWS, uh, to not to do this course, uh, I will actually here recommend you not to do this course. So, in the exam, you will see that multiple answers are correct, but one will be the most appropriate, appropriate one. And some of them will be also pretty much incorrect. It's not like the all of them will be correct. Some of them will be incorrect. But like suppose that you have got the five options and two of them is correct, then you have to choose the most appropriate one from the rest, uh, both two, and the best design for the requirements. Okay, so so this is the difficulty around this exam. We will be having here a little more introduction on the exam guides and also how it is going to be, how you will be actually registering for the exam. So. It's not about like the amount of the new knowledge that you are going to have. Uh, there's still going to uh, be some new knowledge I'm going to teach you. It's all about understanding how to choose the best answer and there's some mix between this course and also having some hands-on experience. Okay, so next the exam itself is really, really hard and uh, will test you on real AWS experiences and will test you on some very subtle service features that I will be uh, teaching in this course, so I will be greatly, uh, hopefully, will be teaching you all the necessary knowledge for this exam. So this course on the new certification is of the SAP C01 C01, that is the Solution Architect Professional C01, 
and so if uh, in other practice exam you see the content that's not covered by this course so it's not that uh, it's it's isn't complete okay it's just like it's been updated to some of the some of the recent certification and uh, some of the services it, like uh, one of the uh, like SAP C01 is also going to be updated in few months uh, around uh, it's uh, maybe an over 2022 and some of the uh, some of the content that uh, is being taught in this exam will be expired by that now but uh, most of the services will still work some of the details will change of the services it's not like the entire AWS services is going to be entirely redesigned again from the ground up so uh, so uh, this is the all the disclaimer that i want to make sure that you are on the same page and about what is going to be included in this course and how it's going to be structured so and uh, now we'll be having a little of the information on the here exam page uh, so here this is a solution aggregate professional this is you will be having the 180 minutes to complete the exam for the 75 questions so each questions for the each question you have got four minutes and uh, this like uh, you have to get around 75% to pass the exam, minimum 75%. And here the, actually the exam guide, exam guide here. So exam guide requires that like, you are having two or more years of experience designing, deploying cloud architect on AWS. Uh, I have been working with the exam content here would include, uh, so designing of national complex design for new solutions. Uh, migration planning, cost control, continuous improvement. So under these, mostly we will be working here or understanding the these services, computer services, uh, so analytics, service billing, cost management, uh, application integration, business analytics, applications, uh, blockchain. Blockchain, I am. It's it's not included, but we will be also having. Uh, so computer services, containers, databases. So database is all in all databases included. Elasticsearch, DynamoDB, Aurora, RDS, Redshift. Developer tools been included here in this course. End user computing, uh, front end, web and mobile. Uh, this is also included. Machine learning related services. So it has included Comprehend, Forecast, Lex, Recognition, Seismic, or Transcribe, Translate. So this, these all are the pretty easy services. Uh, starting from the comprehend forecast like so you will be pretty easily just getting the, um, getting understand all the services management and governance and uh, here the control tower different phrase licensing and organizations media services elastic transcoder migration transfer networking and content delivery security delivery and compliance uh, and storage services so this is the exam guide you might well actually uh, download it from this space and uh, you will be looking more into it so now if you want to have some of the uh, like uh, some of the practice set for the question you could go for that but sample questions will be enough and even i would be including uh, some of the links or will be doing the here some um, practice test questions answer based on the previous uh, previous questions uh, answering the professional certification Exams all of the solutions architect. Uh, some videos will be also on that. I will be also including the video with that also. So you could have those test questions as of the reference to prepare for your the solutions architect exam. So this was uh, it, and this is all as of the intro video for uh, starting with the professional uh, certification solutions architect. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video, and I, have, I hope you will enter the course. And let's get started and. Happy learning continuously. Thank you. Have a great day.